to my YouTube channel. My name is Queen Dayo. In case you're new here, and today I have amazing people in the house, the Mokazis. I want them to introduce themselves. Hi guys, and we are happy to be hosted by Queen Dayo. It's an amazing channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, kindly do because she do. Yeah, she 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 brings amazing people to her channel as well. Mokazi here, Godfrey Mokazi of. The Mokazis, our YouTube channel is called The Mokazis. Uh, hi guys, I'm Pauline, Mrs. Mokazi. Yeah. Both of them are YouTubers, The Mokazis and Simple P on YouTube. Can you check their channels and support us, all of us? Um, I'm always about relationship works, I'm always about marriage works, I'm always about if there's connection, if you put in the work, it, every everything will, will, will work like true love exists and uh, today I thought that I will bring to you this amazing couple in front of us to tell us their story a beautiful story that I thought that I should share with you people um, so first of all we'll start by how many years have you been married? you're heading to five years now yeah how has been the journey so far? Mm, so far so good because once you understand the ropes of being in a relationship, yeah. I think it becomes easier. Okay. Yeah. Pauline, how has been your journey? For me, it's interesting. Yes, and I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Okay, so let us get uh, you take us back to how did you guys meet? Uh, should I talk or should we talk? We both talk. Okay, so guys, this is our story. Uh, one of a kind because not so many people believe you can actually meet your wife this way but here we are five years and counting yeah I'm not like going to talk about the guarantee that I have from her as my wife but so far five years and we're counting so Pauline and I met in online online dating site yeah an app called tinder we met on Tinder. Yes, we met on Tinder. Wow. Yeah. We met on. We started chat. You know how? Let me let me tell you how Tinder works. Yeah. Uh, when you go on Tinder, when you log in on Tinder, you'll have so many people with their profiles and you know what they do, something a little bit about themselves. Yeah. So what normally happen is, if you like someone, not liking like you know liking, but if you like someone, maybe the look. Maybe what he does or what she does, you, you swipe is it like to the right when you like. Okay, right. Yeah, so right when you like. Yeah. But when you don't, you don't feel, you know, their vibe and all that. You swipe to the left. Ah. So it's right when you feel their vibe. Yeah, and left when you don't feel their vibe. Okay. So. I was going to Tinder, but I left. I think. You didn't find your partner. <laughs> no, I just Maybe left. No. Yeah. So, uh, from my side, when I saw it right, and on the other side, she's also on Tinder, yes. going through the profiles, she sees my profile and swipes right. We match. Yes. So Tinder, it's an app. It notifies saw. when you say yes. it notifies her. Also. It notifies her okay. that you have matched with someone. Of course, several people. You'll match several people. Anybody that you swap to the right mm -hmm. and they do the same, you do what? You match. And it notifies you that you have match. And you're given an opportunity to start chatting. Yes. I think it's the only time now you're given an opportunity to, chat. to start chatting wow. once you match. Okay. So. And uh, let me ask something. Mm -hmm. uh, like when you use Fake Right, it will notify her. Yeah. No, it, it will only notify her when it we matches. Match. Wow. Yes. wow, wow! So it matches. So she'll not know who swiped left or who swiped right, unless she also did for my profile. Okay, okay. So that's when now we match. Mm -hmm. So that's Tinder for you. Uh, I went on Tinder. Was it on Wednesday? On Wednesday when I joined Tinder. Actually, I was introduced to Tinder by a friend of mine, a lady. A client of mine as well, so she introduced me to, introduced me to Tinder, and I'm like, ah, why not? For fun, so I 
joined Tinder on Wednesday. Swiped right. You know, of, of course, uh, there are so many. There are so many people that I swiped right. But among the so many people that was, I swiped right <laughs> was Pauline here. Which, oh, there are a lot of... You, you, you swiped right a lot of them. Yes. <laughs> so among the so many people I swiped right yeah. was Pauline here. Yeah. So tell me the, the other side of the, yes, of the swiping. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take you a little bit behind. Back, yes. Or back. Mm -hmm. Um... I was in this relationship and you know, being like a, you feel that you had that casted everything mm -hmm. in your life and you're like, you're doing everything for fun, you're just having fun and then you just decide like this thing is not working. Yeah. I don't feel attached to any man, I don't feel like I want to date anyone, I don't feel like any, doing anything to do with any strength Se serious or serious thing. Yeah. So uh, a friend of mine, a colleague, told me, uh, you like calling you all the time, groom, you're not happy, you're married, you, you're about to be married, and you don't seem to be happy. What's, what's wrong? What's wrong? So I just slept over it, and then the next day when I went to work, I told her, you know what? Uh, I've, I've got a certain uh, app, but I was, before I was in that app, mm. but I was not active. active. Yes. I was just checking what's happening, the chatting and everything. So I thought the Tinder thing was like Facebook. Yes. But then we didn't have this WhatsApp as in so much, like everything was done in WhatsApp. So it was just like Facebook, like space and everything. So I told her, I want to go back to Tinder, maybe have fun, yeah. enjoy my life, go meet different kind of people, maybe get connections, work and everything, because I was so tired of this thing called relationship. So I was just going there for fun. And now I downloaded back the app. I'd already deleted it, but I had not logged out the account. Yes. So I just um, downloaded back the app and I just started having fun. So on, I went, okay, I downloaded the app back, I think it was on a Tuesday. And now I didn't even do anything about it, I just left it. So I went home and me and my friend were catching up and having fun and everything. So the next day I was working and I was feeling that I'm so bored and I want to do something. Mm -hmm. So I started uh, trying to recall my password back again because I didn't want to open another account. New account, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I tried to change everything and it took time. So over lunch time, mm -hmm. I was just passing people and I'm like, you know what? I don't want anything to do with any white person anymore. Okay. So I just want to... You had, to you had dated a white person before? Um, yes. Okay. So I, I was feeling I don't want anything to do with white people. I just want to date black people. Oh, okay. People that I can understand their culture. Exactly. They can understand my culture. Yeah, yeah, sure. And now I was like, okay, let me try these things just for fun. And I was swiping everyone. Everyone. But if <laughs> I see the distance, if I see you in maybe in California, whatever this or the place that you are in, I'll just not confirm you. But if you're within Westlands, these posh posh areas, Westlands and everything, if you, you're a working person, not employed, if you're a working person, but if you're in UN, fine, we chat. At least you can exchange something. You understand? So I was uh, like, I didn't want those people. You know, in Tinder, the bad thing about Tinder is if you are around these white people sometimes, they tend to misbehave. Exactly. They start telling you, send me your send photos me of these, exactly, yeah. send me this, mm -hmm. I want to talk this. Sometimes you communicate with them and they pretend that they don't understand what you're talking about. Exactly. They start speaking some, you tell them something and they pretend that they don't, they don't understand. understand. Mm -hmm. You see? True. So I was feeling that I don't want that one. I yes. just want to connect with people and have a good networking. Yes. So I started swiping people. If you're in Kenya and you're working, Right. If you are a business person, you, you, right. you're not looking at anything, it's just swiping. Yeah, I was just swiping, but I was mm -hmm. also conscious of the age. Okay. Because another thing you should know, when you get to these dating sites, you should know of the age. Because if you date these young people, or if you connect with these young people, at the end of the day, they'll end up doing bad things to you, or insult you, or even if you exchange any conversation, at the end of the day, they're going to heartbreak you. Don't you think that there are still young people who are serious in relationships? I think they are, yeah. but you know, in these dating sites, mm. 
I don't think there's any serious wrong person here. Okay. Or anything serious at all. Because okay. these people have never gone through a hard life. Mm-hmm. They've never got as in they have not experienced that hardship. Yes. In marriage. So they're having anything. fun basically. Yeah, they're just having life. fun. It's just a matter of me and you we meet. Maybe they want something in the extent they have. They want to have my time, they want to have my body and, and I'm not that kind of a person. And then they are gone. Yeah, and then they are gone. So it will be so painful, you meet someone in Tinder and then at the end of it all, you don't get a good reception from them. Yeah, true. So I had fun. All the time I was doing that, I was checking on mature people and everything. And the problem with Tinder is you can't check another woman. If you're a woman, you need to check on a woman. You yeah, check yeah, on a woman. Oh, oh, yeah, exactly. So there is no way you're going to say, I'm going to check on Dayo. Mm-hmm. Or business or whatever she's selling or whatever yeah it's only if you're a woman you have to check on a man yeah. but then again i think there are there are spaces for gays lesbians I'm okay not... they are not such thing okay 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 mm-hmm. it's just a male and a female okay, thing. if okay. your profile says about you're a female if you're you sign in here if you are a ma- female and you log in as a female mm-hmm. definitely it will give you looking for a male if this age, if you are at, let's say, 25, it's going to give you age bracket between 25 to 14. Okay. It's not going to give you behind. Wow, or wow. if it's going to give you lesser age, maybe it's a year or they two. Are doing the, uh, yes. Yeah. And I was here, so I swiped, I swiped, I swiped, and then I saw this guy. Very cool. Okay, nothing much about it. And like my profile that was so like all about me. When I say all about me, it's because I was doing modeling and those funny things and everything, you know. It's a pla- you can add your photos inside. You add yes. your photo, you add everything that you do, everything yeah. about you. Okay. A lot of photos or one photo. You can, okay, the maximum you could put is three or five. Okay. I okay. think so. And you can't put a photo where you're two people. It only requires one photo mm. where you are alone. alone. Wow. So all the five photos, you should be alone. alone. Okay. And I was like, okay, I saw this guy, and I was like, hmm, okay. I just read the name, and but in fact, even the name Okazi had not caught my eyes. So I read the name, and then I saw he works, he's a business person, a trainer. I know nothing about training. The only thing that caught my eyes is that he's a business person, and that's it. And that's it. I just swiped. Right. I was not into it, but I just swiped right. Yes. And then immediately after swiping right, it popped up. You match. Congratulations, you match. Wow. Say hi to more cousin. And know what Tinder does, first it sends, it helps you to start the conversation. Mm. If you can't or if you don't have the guts yes. to send the message, it helps you send the first message. So it sent, sent hi to me and sent hi to more cousin. Yes. You know, the conversation started. That's it. Wow. wow. So, wow. Conversation what an amazing started. story. Can we? That was For the conversation. For that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that started. Okay. Mm. It's burning hot inside here. <laughs> Steaming. Steaming. Yeah. So, that was on Wednesday? Yes. When we met? Yes, that was on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Then we chatted Wednesday. We chatted Wednesday. We chatted uh, just hi, a bit of hi, hi, you know, mm-hmm. uh, bit of you know, quick kisses here and there. Then we didn't talk much. Yeah. Or uh, Thursday, we spoke on Thursday. Okay. What happened is uh, you have a better memory than me. So <laughs> we said each other, mm-hmm. and so he was talking to me. As I've told you, I was not there to be serious. I was just there to catch up with people and have fun. So he said to me, hi, how are you? I'm like, I'm fine. So what do you do? I'm like, I'm not telling my friend. I will look at this guy now. He wants to know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Can I just tell him something to put him off? Or yeah, something? yeah. And he was like, he told, he told me in Swahili, you just, you just put yourself in that mood. So... Deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, Deal with it. it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. I said, hi, uh, I'm working. And so he started asking me, tell me about you. I just, I was like, what do you want to know? 
this is still on Wednesday. That's still on Tinder or your day? Yes, we are still on Tinder. Tinder. Okay, that was day one. And so what what do you want to know about me? You tell me you want to know what you do, your place, your what what. And I'm like, "Mm, sorry, I have to go back to my working position. I have to go back to the office. We'll talk later. I left his that and I went back to the office. So at around four, he sent me a message. Now, Tinder has another problem. Mm. If you're not in the app, it doesn't pop the message. Yes. Like the WhatsApp feed. Yes, yes. So unless you, you, log, in. you log in, that's mm. when you see the messages coming in. Once you get out, it logs itself if, out. No, mm-hmm. once you leave that app, it, it will not send you like WhatsApp notifications. Okay. Okay. Notification. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So I was like, mm. so at that time, my boss had gone for a leave. So I was alone in the office. Mm-hmm. So I had this switch time for myself. And I was like, hmm, let me check what's up. Let me continue just having my usual fine thing. And I saw this message. I'm like, he told me his name, he told me he's a fitness person. And I told him, okay, um, I, I was doing modeling. And right now I'm working at some fitness company. I'm a secretary to my group, the finance department. And I told him about myself, and I just left that to that. Mm-hmm. And he also left that. Yes. So, on that day, here we are. I didn't do that. I didn't check. Because the first you, you, okay. you talked on Tuesday? On, on Wednesday. Wednesday. On that Wednesday? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is that day, okay? Yeah, the next day, mm-hmm. you know, once you get to work, and when your bosses are staff and they're Indians, you don't, you're not allowed to say, on the phone, the phone. Yeah. And my office was a busy office. Yes. So I was always busy doing things. So when it got at around 10, 10 40, it's time to go and have your break. So I just took my phone and opened it to his messages. So he had sent me messages yesterday that I didn't see. Because in my house I didn't have Wi Fi. <laughs> and I didn't know this thing of having Wi Fi in the house. <laughs> He had sent. Yeah, he had sent Can me a message. He had replied a message yeah. that I didn't see. When I told him I'm going back to work, so he sent me a message, but I didn't see. Okay, so can you tell us maybe what you unsend? Not unsending. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I sent her a message. Yeah, she, he that replied the message. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, he replied back to okay. yeah, but, but she didn't see the message. Until now, when she got time to block him. Go back. Okay, yeah. okay. As I told you, I was just there for fun. So I, d- I didn't want to have any attachment to that app. Mm-hmm. So I saw the message, hi, what are you up to? I'm like, oh, hi, good morning. He was like, good morning. So did you check out my... He had told me, oh, no. Before that, I asked him, what do you do? And he asked me back, like, you have already forgotten, he just the other day told you what I do. So, why don't you go to YouTube and search? Demokazi. No, ah, not Demokazi. Fitness Chessel. Fitness Chessel. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, fitness Chessel is what he was doing before. So, yeah, it's a, a program show on that is going on. Yeah, but then Demokazi is a <coughs> professional trainer. He does his... Uh, yes. Maybe you can explain more. I'm a certified personal trainer, certified by ACE, that mm-hmm. is American Council on Exercise. Mm-hmm, yeah. I've done uh, GFI, that is Group Fitness Instructor, PT, Personal Training, I've done Clinical, I've done uh, Lifestyle and Weight Management. Wow. Uh, so that's me. And in this, at this particular time, I was having a show on TV. Yeah. It was on TVC. The show was called Fitness Chasers. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So he asked me, you didn't check what I do. I told you to check something. And I was like, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'd forgotten. So I didn't want to show my arrogance the first day that I didn't even know what to check. So I was like, oh, that's great. And in fact, I enjoyed what you're doing. But I didn't want to be specific on what he was doing because I had not watched at all. So you lied to me. Definitely. <laughs> Sometimes you have to. <laughs> so we mm. stopped like that. So he asked me, what are you up to? I'm like, I'm having my tea break and then go back to work. Okay, fine. I'm having a rest before I start my, my next plan. I'm like, okay, cool. And that's ended. Yeah. So it was lunchtime, and he told me, hey, have you had your lunch? I'm like, I'm not telling myself, look at this guy. Just look at him. And he was, she was like, let me see. 
So I had meant to give my friend mm. the chat to see. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no. She started laughing and she told me, hey, Pauline, you're really in love and even you've not gone far from the other mm-hmm. breakup. Because mm-hmm. even that time, you are talking with him, my ex was in my house. He was just waiting for the flight to leave. Yeah. So we were just separated that you cannot stay in one house. You see? So I was like, I don't want this thing. I just, I'm just here for fun. Yeah. But so I was like, uh, I'm having my lunch and uh, yeah, just that. So he was asking me, so are you, what are you having for lunch? And I was like, I have, I'm having rice and chicken. So he told me, okay, that's good. For me, I'm just having a rest and then go back to work. And I was like, okay. I went back to the office and it was around 10. Uh, it was around 4 o'clock. Mm-hmm. And it was, he wrote back a text. That one I saw immediately because I was still in the app, mm-hmm. trying to check other people and everything. <laughs> You're so determined. <laughs> so, <laughs> in checking so, other people. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Now, I was even not, that time I was trying even to, this is the way you go back to your profile and try to spice it up. Yeah. Maybe you put change something, photos. Yeah, change up profile photos, yes, yes. add some details, yes. and you know. And you know, my profile, whatever I choose, it was my portfolio of the modeling, whatever I was doing. Okay. Thing I was doing. Mm. So there's nothing that I could have put mine like real me now doing this, but everything was real, nothing was fake. So he asked me, so are you ha- are you having your four o'clock tea? And I'm like, I just finished. I'm just having some time before I go home. And he just like, really that. That's on Thursday. That's on Thursday. Yes. On Friday, we didn't talk. Like we didn't talk. The whole day. No, in the morning from yesterday, the trip, no, the last text to the morning until around 10, 10 30, when I was having my tea o'clock. Mm-hmm. So, 10 30 or 4 30? 10, 10, 10. The next day, no, on okay, Friday. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Now, I was just there, I was just smiling alone. I was alone in the office, so I had a lot of things I was doing. And I still, uh, I just felt that, let me go to 10 and check something up. Let me see if you're. Me and say, <laughs> scrutiny is now his because now he's, he's even now bothering me. Like, I didn't want anything. Three days bothering you. Because, okay, the conversation no, was. Two days. Yeah. The conversation was, he was keeping, he was checking on me all the time. Yeah, yeah. That's, now that's I how felt, it happens I with somebody who loves you. I was feeling as if now I'm starting, I've started being entitled or, to this person. And. The point I was in, I was just bored with everything. So I didn't want something that, you know, yeah, that please. fast. Mm-hmm. And he wrote me a text. Hi, how are you? How was your day and everything? I'm like, that day I had sight. I was like, so because I was so idle, I was like, hi, how are you? I'm fine. I'm in the office. I'm doing this. My boss is not in. That's why I'm starting now. Nini, nini, nini. So we had a car. Even the conversation we had, it was nothing about anything specific as in anything personal like you're having your tea and here i'm doing this i just finished my clients i'm going to now start another client so mm-hmm. generally my talk with him was nothing like i'm going home i'm doing this i'm doing this it's just i'm having my tea i'm just waiting for the next client i'm just in the car resting i'm just doing my own thing you see yeah and at around four he wrote me a message and he told me now i can see this conversation is becoming good you have upgraded from Tinder. Tinder. Now we can go to WhatsApp. Wow. Mm-hmm. And I was like, mm. I think so. Give me your number. I told him, not give me your number. I told him, no, just give me your number. I'll text you back. One thing about me, I, I'm not an easy person to give you my number. Even if you're my friend, I'm not that easy person to give you my number. I'll just tell you, give me your number. I'll text you back. I'll call you back or anything. Because if you give me your number yeah. and I, I, I said I don't want to call you, yeah. you don't have me. Yeah, so you don't do anything to yeah, me. Yeah. So I told him, give me my, your number, I'll, I'll call you. Back. Okay. And he said, okay, fine. Mm-hmm. So he sent me your number. And now I called immediately my friend, my friend in the um, media office. I told her, you know that guy's giving me the number. I'm not going to call him. I'll just earn the number and then block it. And I was like, okay, this was a test. Why are you doing this? <laughs> I'm like, but Evelyn, I told, and she told me in the first place, who sent you to that house? Exactly. 
So what were you going to do? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay. You're not here to scold me as if you're my mother. Mm. And she was like, now she was starting to tell me, telling me things in vernacular in Kikuyu. And I'm like, whatever you're saying, I don't care. Because you don't understand what you're saying. Mm. And we left that at that. So when I was going, no. Okay, then, before I gave him, he told me, um, I didn't give him a number. Yeah. So I just went silent. When we were going home, I just said, let me just be fair. Let me mm -hmm. just be human. Despite of what I'm going through, let me just be human. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that time. Still my ex was in the house. So that's why I didn't want the connection. Yeah. So I wrote him a text. Hi. Just my number. So immediately, his heart called. skipped a bit. Yeah, he <laughs> called. Huh? By the time he was calling, I was on my way home. Oh. He told me, why don't you come over for lunch? You know, I'm a Swahili, so I not cook. Wow. I'm like, what do you not cook? I not cook pilau. You have forgotten I'm a Swahili. I'm like, oh my God. So, and again, I started giving me hints. So why don't you come over for lunch or dinner? I'm like, I'm sorry I can't come for dinner. Because tomorrow I have to go to work. And he was like, come, I'll cook for you and then I'll take you back home. I'm like, no, I can't do that. I have work to do. And I can't afford to be late. Yani, Mokazi, you are shooting your shot. That you have to, you have to, dinner. exactly. Sha. So I refused that deal. And he was like, okay, so, hey. Uh, I told him, let me call you. When I get off, we'll talk. Mm. So because I was in a Nissan, he pulled off because his guys were going home. So because that time I was staying near Garden Airport, when I just got off the car, I I didn't even call him. Mm. And I started even laughing mm. and feeling like, okay, what's happening? Like, it's funny. You know that feeling? Yeah. So I got, um, I got at home. I knock. I, I was trying to open the gate, the S6 gate, and the watchman has locked it because of there are some people who transfer. So I was waiting for the gate to be open, and these people are not opening. So I just call him, tell him, no, we can talk. So I know the threat from the gate to my house, it was a distance. Mm -hmm. So we will talk by saying, before I get to the house, the other friend of mine that is in the house we'll would have to ex. notice. Okay. Yes, because the, my ex was there and my friend was there. So they won't get to notice what is happening. Mm -hmm. I called him. And you know what he told me? Mm -hmm. uh, give me a minute. I'm packing. I'm like, okay, cool. So he was packing. He was reversing the car to pack. I said, okay. So I didn't get that an excitement because he was packing a car or whatever. Still in my head, mm -hmm. I was not that I'm not that person who who, who runs from a serious thing. Exactly. Like, oh he has a car, so I'm like Maybe I was packing clothes. So you don't and know what he was back his own car. Exactly. exactly. And now we even don't know each other. So I was like, okay. Even one minute was not over. He called. So you're like, what are you doing? I'm preparing dinner. So what are you preparing for dinner? I'm like this and this. And now there's a picture I've seen. And I was now asking him, who are these in the profile? Okay. Before we get to the picture, uh, let me remind you guys. I got into Tinder on Wednesday. She got into Tinder on Tuesday. Wow. But we started talking on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We chatted again slightly on Thursday. Thursday. Now this is Friday evening yes. when we are chatting. Yes. Day three of chatting. Mm -hmm. Now we've gone into, not from Tinder, now we are into WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Yes. Yeah. You've upgraded. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So... He called me and I was like, who are these in the profile? And he told me and we started who just... Are these, um, you, you mind like talking about that or you don't talk about that? Okay. So in this photo, there were two little kids. Yeah. And I was like, who are these in the profile? Yeah. And he told me, they are kids. Like why? I'm like, you kids. So what are you doing in Tinder and you have a family? You're married. And he was like, uh, he asked me one funny thing. Why is it say that if you have kids, you should be married? And I'm like, okay. But with that, now my heart went back to, I had to go back a little and think about it again. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, want sorry. to be involved like I'm from Wakanda with someone or anything. Mm -hmm. And I didn't still want this attachment because I would never love to interfere with someone else's marriage yeah. as a woman. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I'm honest to you, I'm not married. I just have kids that I don't 
from your wife the other way. Mm, okay, it's interesting. So we had a little bit of conversation and you left after that. Yeah. That's on Friday, right? That's on Friday. Okay. So he wrote me a text and told me, so can we have a lunch tomorrow? I'm like, mm, okay. It was on a Saturday. So the next day was on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. So I told him it's okay. So Saturday went back to the office and now he's excited and everything. And you know, on Saturdays you used to wear anything you feel like. So you dress for the day. So, in fact, I was not that... I didn't want to dress that short and everything funny funny, mm -hmm. like the way you're seeing in your profile. Mm -hmm. So I had to show that I'm a mature person and uh, decent person. Decent person. Mm -hmm. And like other girls that you could see in Tinder, like, you see that makeup thing, you look like a doll, you're not real, you're not the real you. No. You go as you are. You just go as you are. Stage. And the fact thing, if even though I put makeup on my face, you'll never notice that I have makeup mm -hmm. because I don't like being in this thing. Yes. So, on Saturday, I dress up as usual. My African art, my African attire, shoes, my bag, and everything I want. I went to work. So he wrote me a text and told me, "So we're going to have lunch at uh, Impala. So what do you think?" I'm Impala like, in Gong Road. Yeah, Impala Club. Okay. Gong Road. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So since I didn't know this place was Impala, and I've been having fun everywhere, almost everywhere in Nairobi, I was like, "Where is Impala? Impala?" So I had to Google. I was like, what I should do what I was doing. In Pala, I was like, oh, no. Don't forget, in Tinder, I had other people who were talking to me. Yeah. So there was this guy, he was a black American guy. Mm. Working and he for was the UN. Working for the UN. Just like you wanted. Yeah. Yes. But this one, we were not chatting, we were not talking because I didn't want that attachment. So the guy told me that uh, when you're done with work, let's meet at Sankara. Ha! So, I knew I was going to Sankara. Ha! Two people, one person. Sankara and then Impala. Sankara and Impala. Actually, when she googled Impala, a different Impala came. Yeah. And that's not our the hotel. Impala. Okay. That's the Impala it's not the Impala club. So okay. it's only an Impala, Impala hotel. hotel. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. And so she made a that? choice. Mm. She made a choice between Impala and Sankara. Hotel and Sankara. And it's one, me, where would you go? Exactly. In Palakana, one is a Palakana. trainer, a simple trainer, actually with kids, as you noticed. The other one works for the UN, black American, ha! taking her to Santa. Smoking fox. Yes. Now let's so I had to choose. And I was I asked this guy, what time are we meeting? This black American guy. So what time are we meeting? And uh, the message took long to be replied, so I didn't even bother to ask again, because I was I was like whoever answers first is where I'll go. Wow. So I just went silent on all of them. Mm -hmm. I didn't answer more kindly because I was like, no impala, this place looks okay. I was she... just feeling it's not my level, it's not my class, and at the same time. I was not sure of the other guy because now I started becoming scared of these people from outside yeah, our yeah, country. Yeah. So I decided I'm not going to answer those. If that guy doesn't answer what time you meet me in Sankara, I'll just cut it. Go to Impala. If Mok no, not go to Impala. <laughs> if Mokazi insists on me going to where he was, I'll just 